I wanted especially uh, to start in this room because it is so connected with me, for my, with my father's connection to Italy. Um, for him, of course, that began with his first trip here in 1950, but I was not even on the drawing board then, or perhaps on the drawing board, but it was before my birth. But this particular room, which focuses around the 1958-1959 period, shows a special connection with Italy because these are the paintings, or at least the majority of the paintings, that were exhibited at the Venice Biennale in 1959. Uh, we also traveled here uh, to Italy as a family in 1959, and for me as an eight-year-old even, it was a very significant trip. Uh, we of course spent time in Rome, but we began in Naples. Uh, we, I remember very vividly we traveled to Pestum uh, at the beginning of our trip, and in fact we have a couple of photographs which have been unearthed from that time of our family at Pestum. Um, we then spent time in Naples, at Pompeii, and then spent several weeks in Rome, where I think my father's uh, heart really uh, lay in Italy, and uh, of course spent uh, many weeks at museums and uh, just touring the city. Um, so this particular room re recalls that 1959 trip for me. Um, this was also the time uh, right before his departure into some of his mural series. And this, of course, was a group of paintings that was also particularly influenced by his trips to Italy and visiting the Lo Laurentian Library. So this was really the color palette that he was using in the late 1950s, and this was indeed the color palette that he would carry into those murals that he did in the subsequent several years. And those uh, clearly were influenced by his earlier visit to the Laurentian Library in Florence. So this particular painting particularly recalls uh, some of the palette that he used in his later murals. So, so you can just appreciate, I think, one of the unique aspects of this exhibit has been the ability to bring together these groups of paintings which had you know, been seen as a whole at one point in the past, but have never been seen together since. So this is one unique quality of this exhibition, and I think has been one of the great uh, triumphs of the curator, Oliver Vick, to be able to gather these paintings together again and to recreate uh, the room at the uh, Venice Biennale as closely as possible. This room of my, uh, my father's earlier works, I think, really allows us to see his initial connection with early Italian painting. And uh, one of the things that was always evident in my father's work was his real lack of concern with perspective. This was not what was important to him. So very often the relationships be between objects in the distance and nearby objects was not uh, presented in the classic perspective. And I think this really showed his connection with early Italian painting, uh, from Giotto to Fra Angelico and things. I, th I think he felt that he wanted to present the image as it was rather than as it was perceived. And for this reason, he felt that perspective was not that important. And I think we see this very clearly in these early works, uh, this rather flat canvas, uh, with objects uh, in the foreground in, in uh, similar proportion to objects in uh, the background. 
and this very flat appearance of the canvases. I also think that the, uh, the color palette he used in many of these early works is very reflective of, of fresco, uh, which he had undoubtedly viewed on his early trips to Italy and certainly before that in reproductions. So I think in this early work, it is really easy to see these connections. Of course, his interest in presenting the image as it is was carried directly into his later works with their very um, flat surfaces, inviting uh, the viewer to step in, but not presenting any perspective. And I think this was a very important element in his work. Now we might want to look at the self-portrait here um, that we see on this wall. And while I think that, um, again, you can see the relatively flat surface that he uses, uh, presenting uh, the figure simply against the very flat background. Of course, in this case, the color palette is somewhat different. But again, the rather muted palette that one might associate with fresco.